Hi my lovely loves. So today I'm going to be doing a inspired look and um, this inspired look, um, well the inspiration I've taken it from uh, Max Wonder Woman um, limited edition collection and I'm not using any MAC products now um, even though I am going to go and check that collection out tomorrow so if this video is posted by the time that I get any of those um, I will put up a link for that right here but um so yeah um, yeah I was inspired by the Wonder Woman collection and if you guys want to know how to get this look go ahead and keep on watching Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started, and you can actually see some yellow because I was getting started and I forgot about um, my NYX pencil. Alright, so go ahead and put some, um, I've already primed my lid with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and now I'm just going to go ahead and put some um, Milk NYX pencil, and rub that in. The next thing you're going to do is grab um, from your 120 palette, you're going to be using this yellow right in here. You see it? Okay, this one. You're going to use that yellow and just pick up, pick it up with your um, um, eyeshadow brush. Put it on the inner corner of your eyelid and also on the lower lash, like inner corner. Alright, so like that. The next color that we're going to grab is from the other side of the palette. And we're going to be using this red right up here. This color right here. Alright, so that's from where the black is at all the way over to that red. So I'm just going to be using that red and I'm going to put it on my lid over the yellow little and then into my crease. I feel like I have to sneeze. A little bit into the outer corner. Like that. And into your crease. And a little right there. And then with whatever is left over from your brush, kind of blend into that yellow. Okay. Like that. Alright? So the next thing we're going to do is grab our blending brush. Alright? And take your blending brush, sweep it in like a wind wipe, a, a windshield wiper motion back and forth, and then go around in circular motions on the crease right where that red is at, and then in your inner corner. You want to blend that out so it can be like as um, soft, like your edge to be very soft since it's such a bold color. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is if you have a blue um, eyeliner, like uh, a blue like this, then you can go ahead and use that. But since I don't have a blue eyeliner, I'm going to use my eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to spray my brush with um, a little bottle of water spray. And I'm going to go into, okay, so right next to the black, that blue. I'm going to go right in the edge of that color because I don't want to mess up my eyeshadow. Even though most of the time eyeshadows say you can use them wet or dry, they tend to get hard when you um, use it with water. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that like as an eyeliner like that it looks kind of black or really really dark but it's still wet so that's fine all right and we want a um, wing so I'm just gonna put my brush right there to create that wing and then connect it like that. All 
Okay? And then I'm going to go into the lower lash line. I'm going to pick up a little more of that color. The brush is still wet, so it's fine. Alright, and then... Sorry, I keep... Yeah, and I totally have my mouth open. <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> you know how it is. Alright. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little more onto my top lid. Just to make it like slightly thicker. That first line was as like a guide. Alright. The next thing that we're going to do, I'm just going to take a like crease pointy brush and I'm going to take that same, um, actually no, the color that I'm going to be using is from that other pat, from the other side and I'm going to be using this blue right in here, this one. I'm going to be using that one and that's just to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to tap with my brush right over the line. All right. And under two. All right. And that's pretty much it. So now the next thing that we're going to do is just I uh, I is add our um highlight. And the highlight that we'll be using is, um, I'm going to be using this color right here. Make sure you wipe your brush off. I completely forgot. So yeah, wipe your brush off and pick up your highlight, whichever highlight you prefer normally. But um, this is one that I find that works really nice for this look. So I'm going to use that and put that on there. And then I'm going to grab this color right here and put that right underneath my arch just to give it more of an like highlight. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, go ahead and apply eyeliner to your inner corner, to your lash line. I'm doing a blue. You can put some eyeshadow, um, dab some eyeshadow onto that to make it stay longer. So, alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to apply half a falsie um, to my outer corner, um, fill in my eyebrow, and I will be right back. Alright guys, so that's it. I finished off the look by applying a like half a falsie to the end of my eyes and then filling in my eyebrow. The blush that I put on with this was my Candid Coral from e.l.f. Um... There we go. My Candid Coral from e.l.f. Um, just like a soft, like, pinky, kind of corally color. And then, um, for my lips, I use e.l.f. Mineral um, Party Pink. Alright, and then on top of that, I put um, NYC Pink Sand Lip Gloss. Alright, so that's it, and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. And, um, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. It's right up here. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.